Hi, welcome to part 2 of this learning dialogue on LXI sharing experiences. In this part 2 learning dialogue, I am going to share my experiences as a MOOC instructor on designing of LXI focus questions. So, we are scoping to discussing the focus question. The first category of focus question that uh, we have seen is establishing social connect among peers. So, in a MOOC setting, the learners do not know each other. And let's see the examples on screen. So, you can give a focus question for social connect like introduce yourself and then don't stop there. Ask them where have you encountered data compression in your day to day life if the course is on data compression and encryption. So, the takeaway from this example for you is that when you want to break the ice because your learners do not know each other, then the LXI focus question should be introduce yourself plus ask them their motivation of why they are attending the course. As an example, if it is a data compression course, ask them where have you encountered data compression in everyday life. Now, in a faculty development MOOC, the same category of focus question what we posed was introduce yourself and tell us about the challenges that you face in your classroom while you are using technology. Now, let us move on to the second example. Keep one thing in mind, these examples and the categories of LXI focus questions that I am showing you are not in any hierarchical manner. The second category of focus question that you can post is once you have taught the concept, ask the learners to apply the concept taught in real life. So, what would an example of this type of focus question look like? Let us see the example from a data structures course. We can tell, can you give an example where radix sort is used in real life? The assumption is as an instructor, I have taught them radix sort. So, I am telling them, can you give me an example where radix sort is used in real life? The B part is look at your peers posts and comment on the validity of the example that they have posted. If it is an FTP course for teacher training, the type of question we gave for this second category of objective is, what challenges do you expect in applying active learning in your class? Now, when you give these focus questions, the orchestration part is also very important. Remember as an instructor, your job does not stop by just posting the activity question. What you need to do is every week you need to spend around 2 to 3 hours going to the forum and responding randomly to some posts. What happens, what we have found is when the learners know that the instructor is visiting the forum, they feel connected to the course and they keep coming back to the forum, they do not feel abundant. If you do not visit the forum at all, then there is a danger of them also not visiting the forum at all and dropping off. So, please remember the orchestration is also very important with this LXI activity question. Now, let us proceed to the third category of LXI activity questions. The third category is if your objective is prompt learners to explore a topic that is about to be taught. This is a very interesting LXI activity question. You have not yet taught them the topic. But to set the motivation for the topic, you pose an activity question which will prompt them to discuss among themselves before you release the video or the learning dialogue that contains the answer to the focus question. Now, let us see an example of this objective. So, in the NPTEL course on demystifying wireless networking, what the instructor did was every week he will end the content with the release of an analogy video and a follow up LXI activity question on that analogy video. You can actually check out the analogy video, we have shared the link with you here. So, this analogy is with the Dabba Wallas, the famous Stephen carriers of Mumbai. And what the 
instruction has been given, the activity has been given is while you watch the analogy video, think of an answer to this question. Try to identify what is the key piece of information that each dabba wala has to keep track of in order to deliver the tiffin box or the dabba to the correct person and on time. So this has been given for discussion in week 1. In week 2 release, the first video is on introducing router with answering of this analogy question. We did a similar application of this objective in our teacher training or FDP MOOCs. What we asked them is, we have given you an example of an animation and a simulation. Now as teachers, tell us what are the advantages and the disadvantages for each of these as a teaching resource. So they had to discuss what is the advantage they will get for using animation in the classroom, but what are the disadvantages also? And what are the advantages of simulation and what is the disadvantage of using a simulation as a teaching resource? And let me share my experiences when we give them this type of LXI question. This is the activity question that recorded maximum amount of discussion in the forum. So please do try this type of LXI activity question. Thank you.